I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing the longer reading, January 16th through the 31st, for Pisces. Hello, Pisces. How are you doing? Things picking up for you? You feeling more energetic? I think that you should be. I think that things are getting better for you. So my three things that I always tell you are the cards that I use. I'm using my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards, my Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Also, too, I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And also, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. It's okay. It's okay. If you've not subscribed, please go below and subscribe, comment. I love to hear your comments. Also, too, I will not be doing private readings from the 21st of January to the 31st, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, let's see. Oh, we're going to have a very, very full moon on the 20th to 21st of January, but it's also going to be a big eclipse. It's going to be a full eclipse. So there's going to be a lot of energy coming from that. I don't necessarily feel that it's going to be very disruptive energy for you, Pisces, which is kind of weird because this is a, this is, you know, this kind of moon could cause a lot of emotional upset and it will be for other signs. Um, it may cause you to be a little more moodier. I'm hearing moody, and I'm hearing that you might want to stay in those days. But um, let's see what the cards say, okay? So again, let's see for Pisces, the 16th through the 31st. Yes, I am doubling on my 16th. I did mine one from the 1 to 16, and now this is the 16th through the 31st. Just felt like I should be doing that. And let's see, anything for Pisces, jumping out, jumping out. No, not yet. Okay, let's cut. Three cards down. Put this over here. Okay, first card is reversed, a little bit more up to it. Let's see the renew renewal. Okay, Archangel Jeremiah. And this one is, oh, I do need my glasses, put them over here. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Yes, Pisces. So this energy may be what's needed to get you moving. This might be the boost to get you moving into that new direction. And I do feel that it's gonna be a positive direction. Let's see what this next card says. Okay, awakening some more um, Archangel energy. So this is wonderful. This is Gabriel. And this is look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Now, if you look at him, this is like your old, the hangman. He's upside down, but he's looking at something differently. And yet he's looking at it saying, okay, I can look at it differently, but yet I have to still be true to myself. Let's see this last card. Oh my gosh, another archangel. This is a life experience. So this is your time. This is a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. This and this around a full, this full moon eclipse, this is a big eclipse. This is a lot of energy eclipse. So with this, there are some major, major changes coming for you that are going to be very positive. You're going to, it's, I, I really feel like it's like a, re, it's, while it says renewal and awakening, it's like a reawakening, okay? It's like you are coming into, you're like waking up, like, you know, Rip Van Winkle, right? Isn't he the one that slept for the hundred years or however many years? Rip Van Winkle, he fell asleep and now it's like he woke up again. And it's like he has, you know, he's hungry. He has a renewal, a renewal of love, life, energy. It's like this, all of this energy is going to be happening. And this is the time now for you to grab on and not to be that hermit, okay? Not to be the one that's in the cave. This is the time that this is like, I really feel like this is a blessing. I mean, you've got three archangels here. I mean, this is a blessing. You're being blessed with this, you know, your prayers have been heard, okay? You've been praying and praying. You've been in such agony and tor tur turmoil, if I can speak. I'm very excited. And now your prayers are being, are being heard. So, oh my gosh, this is, this is like awesome. Okay, let's see now. I'm going to use my other cards. Let's see, clarification on this. Well, yeah, I want clarification about this, but this is all three archangels. It's like you've hit the, um, the spiritual jackpot here. 
and these are all very positive changes, okay? So be aware that these are positive changes. Positive changes. Okay, one card did come out, but let's go cut this for the rest to the other two. One and two. Okay, this first one came out, authority. And this authority goes along with the authority of these angels, authority of your higher power, authority of your divine, uh, your, your um, spirit guides, your guardian angels, you know, all of these. This is being divinely given to you. You know, this is being, not, this is being divinely handed down to you. Let's see what this next card says. The, you, obstacles and challenges. Again, reversed, stand your ground. Okay, so what this is saying is, as you go through life changes, it's not, and even though that they can be positive, they can still be hard for you, okay? They can still be hard for anybody. This is not an easy, you know, it's not easy to um, start trusting, start saying, oh yes, things are getting better. Isn't that wonderful? I'm going to now go over that way. No, it's going to be something that might that you are going to have to um, work on trusting, okay? But it says, you know, again, this is a seven, which is again a divine number. It says stand your ground. And if you look at it, you know, this is an eclipse. This is an eclipse. There is something, I don't know if this is a this if this is a lunar or a solar, I don't know what kind of eclipse this is, but this is stand your ground, accept what is being given to you by the divine, by your archangels, accept it. Yes, will there be obstacles and challenges? Yes, but that's not a, you know, if you look at it from here to there, that's not a far jump for that person to go through. It's not going to be as hard as you actually think it's going to be. Okay, any final advice, any final words for Pisces? Pisces, I mean, renewal, awakening, life experience, what more can you have? But again, you know, like I said, any kind of change, you know, if you have, if you had been in the dark for very long, for a very long time and somebody turned on the light, that's going to, even though that might, you know, be, it might be what you've been wanting, it's still going to jar you. It's still going to make things a little bit hard. Not hard, but it's just going to jar you. Yeah, it might make it hard. It might make it that it's hard to accept that you now are in the light. Okay, let's cut two cards because one card did come out. Let's see what these are. Okay, first card, past lives. Okay, let's see. This is a very karmic type of card. But let's see what other these other two cards are that before we start going into the karma. Okay, reversed again. Okay, sharing, sharing, okay? And then this one, friendliness. Okay. Do I feel that you are have that you are living out your karma with this? Um it could be, you could be, but what I'm really feeling is that these, that your past, your life of the past is now, is changing. You've got to let it go. You've got to let it, you know, let it, let it leave you because it, your past influences you so much. You pull up your old memories. You pull up your, you know, remember when stories. You pull up your, oh, I, I when I was a kid stories. Or, you know, let's let's all reminisce. It's okay. It's okay to a point, but you cannot be living there, okay? You need to be getting out with the world. You need to be sharing your light. You need to be showing people who you are, Pisces, because you're a beautiful sight. You're a beautiful soul. You need to be getting out there, and you need to be making friends. You need to be communing with others, okay? And... I feel that this card, this past lives, I feel it could be, I mean, it could be a karmic type of card where this is all holding you back. And it's, it's like, it's like you've been conditioned 
whether that be before birth or whether from, you know, it's like you've been conditioned to not, okay, I'm not going to say you've not had fun or have enjoyed your life, but it's like, I feel like you've been conditioned not to experience, okay, not to trust, not to um, feel like, you know, I think you've been conditioned, and it could be from this own life, to, you know, what else do you, what else could I expect, what else should I expect? And again, I think for you, Pisces, especially during this full moon um, energy period, only thing I want out of your mouth is positive things. I deserve money. I deserve a good life. I deserve relationships. I deserve friends. I deserve to be loved. I deserve, I deserve for only good things. I don't want, okay, you get a flat on the t flat tire. Oh, what else is new? I don't want to hear that, especially through this new moon, this full moon um, eclipse energy, okay? Because if this is, you didn't, you don't deserve it. It's, you know, it's, there's some people, you know, I feel that you're, that you have been walking around again, um, to, you know, Charlie Brown, the guy that had the dusty thing over, and that's, that has to go, that's gone. You're being given, your guardian angels, your archangels, Michael, right? Michael is there. Is Michael? No, Michael's not there. I'm sorry, but um, Archangel Gabriel, he is there. He is, you know, awakening, life experience, renewal. Let that dusty energy, let that, you know, that Charlie Brown guy, you know, let that all go forward, go past you. You walk out of that cloud, okay? You don't have a dark cloud over you anymore. That dark cloud, and that's what I'm thinking is this, that dark cloud is going away. That dark cloud... It's gone. It's gone. Okay? The dark cloud, gone. Move out into the sun. Move out into the shiningness. Move out into the nature. Move out into the colors. Okay? Now is the time for you to move into the colors. Guardian angels, they don't lie. Powerful, powerful, powerful stuff for you, Pisces. Okay? Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Again, to know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.